attacking with cuts all that kind of thing oh that's very very useful you'll be use you can use it a lot in in free sparring because it offers a whole lot of opportunities now we'll turn it around okay so if we're here in a forward in a backward facing guard and we move it forward we've got a couple of a couple of uh of choices here going straight up here like this is a particular type of uh type of guard here. We call it dragon's horn, what have you. But right here, of course, we're looking, you know, kind of, we're dipping down over the top. We're going to come around here and we're going to get into our other guards, which generally are going to be done down here. Okay. So that would be what we kind of call our hanging guards. Okay. So this means that our blade is hanging kind of down, right? And you are holding it up, right? And then here. In other swords, in other sword forms, like in German's long sword, this is ox, right? In uh, Chinese, there's there's lots of designations for it, leopard head, all kinds of things, okay? But the whole point is here, is that we've got the tip forward, and we've got this in here like this. Now, if, as a response, to another high guard. So if he takes up the, the high guard with it rear facing, and I come up like this, right? When he goes in for his for his, let's say I, I I come in for an attack this way, he responds. Now, yep, good. When I'm here, look what I'm kind of set up to do: to kind of roll around this way and kind of come down, right? He comes down from my head from there. And I can go out to here, and that's that same kind of motion. Now we're only we're, we'll we'll go into moving down into the lower guards here, right? But then, if I can get over, if I can get under, this is where these particular guards kind of come in come into play. Okay, so this gets us into the enemy's territory a little bit further, right? And it also gives us more choices of movements to do in a high position. So when we get into a high position, we don't necessarily have to come out of it, right? Okay? Lots of sword play happens up there, okay? Because we'll get in here and we come into it like this, and then we come up, you see? And then it's all kinds of stuff like that. Right? Again, up like that. That's another variation of the hanging guard. Right there, you see? And where does he go from where does he go from there? And here I am, right? Bringing it over. Okay. Now when we move into other guards here, now he's got the upward facing one kind of, right? But that's fine, because I can drive attacks up. You see? And now we're kind of in a middle, a middle position. We'll get into that in, in a little bit, right? But these hanging guards and being able to turn, come back up, right, give us, you see, all of this stuff. We can disengage, right? You see, like that. Or we can push, wind, kind of wrestle around, and bind with the other person's weapon. You see? In reality, doing all of them is going to be required. Make sense? Right? 